my friends. So I want to go ahead and just jump right into it and I want to let you know that I have made all of my sewing patterns into digital form. So I have about nine um, sewing patterns available right now. I will be coming up with more as the days go by but I just wanted to show you um, some of the sewing patterns that I have made um, because I have already made the tutorial for them. So that's why this video is only going to be about the sewing patterns that I have here already. And I have already made the sewing tutorial for them. So um, let's go ahead and let's just jump into it. And I'm going to show you the sewing patterns. All right. So here I have all of the patterns that I will be having available in my Etsy shop. Here I have about eight of them um, available. So, like I said, I have already made tutorials for all of these sewing patterns already. So, if you check out my YouTube channel, um, I will have all of the tutorials for each one of these patterns, which is why I'm making a separate one to show you. I do not make lines of where, where to sew or like the measurements and all that. And it's because I already have the tutorial for the sewing pattern. So this one's gonna be for the small duffel bag. We have a cell phone holder. We have standing the standing up bag, the famous pen holder. And I also made one for the lip balm holder as well. And we have the medium tote bag. Now, just so you know, the medium tote bag is the one that has the most pages out of all of my sewing patterns. It has about 20, 20 pages. And then we have the small tote bag and the famous um, box pouch as well. So the only thing that I do let you know is that wherever you see these dashed lines, it's where you're where you're going to be connecting your um, pattern. So we're going to go ahead and jump into that. And I'm going to show you one on what do I mean by having the dashed lines. All right. So the pattern that I have here is the small duffel bag. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to separate it. And we have this dash lined and this dash pointing out. So I'm going to go ahead and I know I'm going to connect it there. And then I have this one going down here. And some of the pages probably might not come out in order, which is why I tried my best to put in each of the squares what they represent. So here we have one whole um, piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to tape it. All right. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to cut underneath the line, the black line. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut next to the dash line as well. And we have another dash line. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect it with all of the four three other pieces that we have okay right so I have my pieces here cut out and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that wherever I see the dashed lines that's where we're going to connect them connect this side and then connect this side and then we're just gonna tape it down and one thing that I forgot is that I did not um, put this in one of the squares and I realized that after I had already printed it out but if you purchase it from my Etsy shop the new one or the new PDF form it will have this information for you ready in the corner of the pattern here so it will have it for you so that way you'll keep track of what um, what pattern this is so I'm just going to go ahead and tape it down. Just a quick little video to show you. And now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just tape down my pattern. And so for all of my patterns, I'm going to have it like this. So wherever you see a dashed line, that's where you're going to connect them. So hope, hopefully this is helpful for you. Like I said, I already have the YouTube tutorial already in my um, channel which is why wait, if you watch the tutorial you will not see this because I had already made that a couple months ago um, so now I'm just showing you 
um, the because I finally have made um, digital patterns. So for any of my patterns that you see um, in my Etsy shop, if you see any dashed lines, that's what you're going to do. So for example, we have another one here and you're gonna go ahead and you're going to cut it out and then tape them down next to it. And here we have, and this is because this is the strap and then we have one piece for the pocket. So go ahead and now this is gonna be an another one that you're going to cut out. All right, so I have taped down my strap here. So I only put one strap because you only need one strap for the small duffel bag. And this will make more sense if you are watching the tutorial for the small duffel bag. Um, so for this one, I did put same. So here it's supposed to say length. So if you use webbing, you need to have the same length of strap if you are using webbing. Okay, and in the PDF form that you get, it does say length. All right, now um, hopefully this was helpful and you can easily just close it up and you have your body. I try to make it as specific as I, as I can. These are my first um, sewing patterns digitally. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you bear with me with these sewing patterns that I have made available in my Etsy shop so far. If, for those of you that end up purchasing my sewing patterns, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. Please comment down below. Um, and that way I can improve on any of my other sewing patterns that I make available in the near future. Um, and that way I can improve on them as well. Um, Hopefully they f you find them helpful as I have been finding them helpful with everything that I've been making so far and happy sewing.